are the perilous times in Romans, excuse me, 2 Timothy 3. These, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be boasters, proud, blasphemers. Children will be disobedient to parents. People will be unthankful, unholy, and having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. The power is Christ, and His Spirit is the testimony of Christ. It is a spirit of prophecy. And every member of the body is fitly framed together for a habitation of the Holy Spirit to manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit from the least to the greatest. And those who lord over, over the flocks deny this happening. They deny the Holy Spirit to have free course in their services and they control everything from the beginning to the end, and then they take up the offering for themselves. This is the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, in whom all the denominations and non-denominations all have the same kind of administration, where they choke the word and, for pretense, make long prayers. In the early church, they met in houses, and they shared their livelihood and their goods with one another. But you remember Ananias and Sapphira. They lied to the Apostle Peter about how much they had sold their property for. They kept some of it to themselves. And first Ananias came in and Peter said, Have you sold it for so much? And he said, Yes, I have sold it for so much. And he says, Why have you lied against the Holy Spirit? Did you not have power in your own your own willpower to be upfront about it and keep part of it and give the rest and be honest about it? But you lied and said that you've given all that you had and yet you kept back part of it to yourself. You lied against the Holy Spirit. Lying against the Holy Spirit, there is no forgiveness of sins. It's instant death. And that's what happened at Ananias. He fell down dead and they carried him away. About three hours later, his wife came in, and she told the same lie. And he and Peter said, Behold, those who, the young men who hauled away your husband are at the door for you, and they'll haul you away too, woman. And she immediately fell down and was slain by the Spirit. There was great fear that came on the church in those days because you didn't lie against the Holy Spirit and live to talk, talk about it like they do now. But that's because judgment is reserved for the day of fire, and it shall burn away all the dross.